Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another Sumi Shows video with me. And guys, today we're on the road. We are traveling. Today, you are with me on a small little vacation, guys, for my birthday, for the birthday week. Okay, it's continuing. My birthday is Saturday. So for all you guys that have wished me a belated early birthday, thank you so much. Seriously, I can't believe it, guys. We are at 320 almost, 320 or something. It's crazy. I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you so much for making this a possibility. And I'm really excited because today, not only are we doing kind of a special shave, like I'm doing shaves that I like personally. That's that's what we're doing. I wanted to do a, a week of me, right? Nothing weird, things that I haven't used, things that I've used and genuinely enjoyed. And today, guys, one of those things that I've used and genuinely enjoyed on the channel that I have not used again is the Shake Sharp Razor, okay? I brought this with me on vacation, brought it with me, Guys, I got stories for you. I want you to see this with me on the channel. I got an update on this razor. You're gonna to wanna to see this, stick around. Um, today's software, guys, today's software. We're using a &E's Dirty Ginger for the pinup month, okay? And that's part of the reason I brought this. But the other reason I brought this, guys, Dirty Ginger just smells so good. Somebody told me it smells like Verner's from Michigan, and now that's all I smell is Verner's. So thank you, my friend. Verner's is definitely what it smells like. The ginger and like the snappy, punchy um, citrus behind it. I don't know, it's got like lime in it. It's such a nice lime. Ginger, tobacco, and rum. I don't know, I guess some citrus in here. Maybe it's just the ginger playing with the tobacco and rum. I don't really know. But it's like a boozy Verner's. Boozy Sprite. I love this. Oh, it's such a nice smell, guys. And this is from Amy. And I didn't bring a splash with me. Traveling, I find splashes to be really difficult. But I did bring the PAA Travel Scuttle, guys. I don't go anywhere with traveling for with shaving without my scuttle. And this is the indestructible scuttle from PAA. And I like it because it can go in the microwave. If I'm in a cold room um, and I can't get hot water, you know, I can heat it up in the microwave. Or if I'm in a freezing, or if I'm in a really hot room, guys, I can heat, um, put it in the freezer and freeze my lather or freeze my scuttle and then have a cold lather. I love my indestructible scuttle. And look at this. This is the Colin Clafton's Ever Ready Restore brush that he did for me. And Colin is an affiliate on my channel, guys. He's kind of, he doesn't do it. He just helps with the giveaways and he's given me the brushes that we've been using on channel. And I always send my brushes to Colin. Colin does fantastic work and he's not only a, a great artisan in this craft, but he's also a good friend of mine, along with Leaf. <laughs> along with Leaf, my other, uh, my other sponsor, and only other sponsor, my only real sponsor, my only affiliate, only uh, that seems to want to back the channel is Leaf. But check this out, guys. Look at how good this is. Look at that shine. You see this shine? I don't know if you're getting it on camera. It looks so nice. I'm not, I'm not using my usual setup here, so I don't, hopefully you're getting this. Oh, here you guys smell. You guys, you guys smell. It's just, it's such a good smell. And the only thing about the indestructible, indestructible scuttle, guys, it's a little small. I find personally, I wish it was a little bit bigger. And I contacted Doug. I said, make me a big one. And so I hope fingers crossed someday he makes a big one. All right. We talked about the software. We talked about the little, the, the, the brush. Let's talk about the razor. The razor, guys, I purchased um, from a person that got it off base. Okay. This was, uh, it came off of a base in Connecticut where they build and manufacture and like, they fix um, helicopters that are downed and they build helicopters. We have helicopters flying over our house all the time because the base is right next to our house. And this is where this came from. And it was actually pulled from wreckage from a 19, uh, like a, night, a World War II helicopter. Like it was, it was, a, it was like a 40s helicopter, early 40s helicopter. And this was made in the mid 40s. And so I mentioned that I thought it was from World War II because that's what I was told. When I purchased this, they said it came out of a World War II helicopter that was downed. Um, it was carried in World War II. I thought it was really cool, the story, the seller, everything. Then I was contacted by a person that's a, like a historian, right? A person that's more of an expert than I am. And he said, I don't think that's correct because of the way that we process metals and stuff. The one that would have been in the World War II would have been a Bakelite handle. And this, guys, as you can see, is not Bakelite. It's beautiful. I think it's one of the prettiest razors I own. Part of the reason why it's getting used on birthday week. It's also just so special to me. Um, it literally didn't look like it had a day of use other than maybe on the shake sharp part. This part opens and closes guys, as you can see, kind of like the predator or the alien, right? <sighs> like the little mouth comes out and this goes back and forth to strop and hone your blades. Look, and you do this kind of method and it, it actually sharpens your blade. That was the intention back when they were, um, had carbide, um, carbon steel blades. 
How cool is that? I think it's an amazing concept. It takes full DE blades, guys. You open it like this. It takes full DE blades. This reminds me of how I use my gem. I just put a full DE blade in my gem. This is similar to that concept. You just put your full blade in and lock it down and then you shave. I love this, but it probably was not carried in World War II. What he told me was it was common to take helicopters from World War II and repurpose them for the Vietnam War. Likely this was used and carried in Vietnam. And during when the helicopter was, you know, downed, this stuff was put away. And then when it was um, kind of put up for auction, sort of, when the, the veteran couldn't keep the storage unit anymore, that's when uh, it was kind of sold. And I think that's where the history was kind of lost. But it was likely a Vietnam era um, carried razor. Kind of cool, kind of awesome. I love the history of this razor, and it's a fan freaking tastic shaver, guys. Such a good shaver. And I've got a lot of stubble day on the head, so we're doing a head shave. I'm going to be seeing the father-in-law today, so I want a really good shave. You know, got to go in with confidence. So we're doing a confident head shave today with the Shake Sharp. Let's get it loaded. Um, today, guys, we're using, like I said, we're going to we're, we're doing this a little different than Shake Sharp had intended. Um, I'm going to be double stacking the blades. I like the way it, it shaves that way. When I received this razor, it did actually have a blade in there. Um, I'm going to show you guys this is one blade in it. You guys can see it just sits right there. It's really cool. Um, it did have a blade in it, and the blade was very thick. And compared to today's standards, the blades are much thinner. And so I find when I double stack the blades in this, it feels much more like it would have in the olden days, like when they were first building these. I also feel like it shaves really well that way. Um, I don't get any you know, chatter. I don't get any kind of irritation. And usually it adds a little bit more of efficiency for this razor. Just a little bit, not a ton. The only trick to this, because it slides, guys. When you double stack your blades, uh, you have to make sure that everything is down nice and tight against that little bar. There we go. Make sure everything looks good. Uh, the other thing I've noticed with this is when you lock it in place, the head cap does have a little bit of movement. And so you kind of have to, I mean, you can see where their um, design wasn't perfect because there is a little bit of movement in, like when you're uh, assembling it. And I could see that being, having uh, people not liking that kind of, con you know, that, that setup purpose. Like you're touching the blade and you're getting it in there, but there's a blade loaded in there, guys. How cool is this? Look at the shine and shimmer on this razor, guys. Look at it. Look how beautiful. I don't know. I think it's stunning. Oh, I'm really excited to use this. Again, this is two double stacked blades in the Permasharps, guys. Permasharp double stack blades. We are using the PAA Ice Cube Travel Stick, guys, for a pre-shave. I'm only doing this because I really like having a little extra pre-shave. And I really like the travel stick. I, I think the travel stick's a, an idea that was fantastic. And what I've been doing, guys, is I just take the travel stick and rub it on my head. I don't know if I'm doing that right. I have no idea if I'm doing it right. But this was a pre-shave that I like because I can take it because it's solid. Um, I've had Creo sticks blow up in my luggage before. I like that this doesn't have any way to explode on me while I'm traveling. Okay, guys. So I'm, I, had, I told you I had a story for you. So... I had to, I went, like I said, I went out of town, I've been traveling, and I had to take a plane, okay? I took a plane, so I had to take TSA, right? And I was taking a big old bag of razors with me, big old bag of razors, guys. I had, I don't know, 12 or something razors, because I was like, it's my birthday week. I want to use stuff that I love, and I'm, I'm going to use a different razor every day, and <laughs> it's going to be awesome. So I told the wife it was happening, packed all my razors with me, get up to the TSA, and they're like, oh, come on with us. Nope, you can't go on. And I was like, yeah, I know. I, I, I'm aware. You guys are going to flag me. There, It was inevitable. And I'm like, do, I have, do you have any razor blades in these? And I was like, no. And the lady, the TSA agent that was checking me, um, like going through my stuff, she was making sure that all the blades were out, right? Because they're going to go through each razor and open them up and see how they work. Was getting frustrated, guys. You can see, she's like, how do you open this one? And you slide that one to the side. How do you open this one? You screw, you unscrew that one. Because every one of these old vintage razors that I brought with me are kind of unique. Through. And she looks at me after getting through the twig, right? She got to the leaf one. She's like, how many more of these do you have? I was like, I don't know, 12, 13. She's like, I've never seen this many safety razors in my life. And she said, she is like, she was like, really? Are you like new? She's like, no, I've been doing this for like 15 years. I've never seen somebody that has this many um, safety razors with them on traveling. 
So we did it. We we set some we set some new records for somebody. And you guys seen this great lather from PAA or from uh, A and E guys? This is great lather. This smells amazing, and I like it with a little bit of that menthol. A little bit of menthol is nice. So funny. Just her face. How many more of these razors do you have? Why? That was her other question. She's like, Well, why do you have them? I'm like, Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you about white shaving and how awesome white shaving is and how it can change your life today. <laughs> Start upselling white shaving to her. It was great. Now this razor, guys, when you come in with the Shake Sharp. Um, if you ever get one of these, you're really curious where it shaves. I find that I don't ride the cap. I use a 1924 angle. You see that? I'm not against the cap at all. And you guys can hear it. It's knocking it down, man. Yeah, I do not ride the cap and I do not use any pressure with this razor at all, ever. And this is just so cool. I love the story behind it. I think the reason, part of the reason um, this razor will not ever get sold is the base that it was from is right next to my house and it's just I love that it has that military background and I love just absolutely love the way it shaves and I don't use it very often because I'd like to keep it in pristine condition but every time I use it I feel like I am truly honored to be using something that was carried by one of our soldiers oh and for a head shaver the angle is fantastic you guys see this look at the look at the Amount of angle I'm getting. Look at the oh, it's just and I love this shape. I love this shape, guys. I can't say it enough. And for a razor that is 70 years old, it really is phenomenal. Anyway, that was really funny watching her go. Like she got to the Shake Sharp razor and she's like, uh. How do I open this? Is there I think she got to the point too, she's just like, is there a razor blade in this? I was like, nope, no razor blades. So like, I can't see a blade in there. Is there a blade in there? I'm like, nope. Because it was just like so many different types of razors to open. Oh, it was really funny. Really funny, guys. So if you uh, ever want to make someone's uh, TSA agents a day and make them laugh, it's a good way to do it. Take all your razors with you and see what happens. They will be confused and likely impressed. That was, so it was a question of hers. So she was like, so... Do other people do this? It's like, yeah, it's like a whole thing. Gotta I get do the whole pitch. And I was like, well, and if you really are curious, you should check out Leaf. <laughs> Make your life really easy and get yourself some better shaves. Don't start with the Shake Sharp, I can tell you that much. Don't do that. <laughs> that was great, guys. It was super funny. And my wife was like sitting there, like you could just tell my wife was like, uh, we need to get on a plane. Don't talk to the TSA agent, you're bothering them. Don't bother people. <laughs> oh, this is great, guys. And that was the thing, first time I used this razor, I was shocked at how well and how long the shave lasted. So when we talk about, you know, the Subi 3Cs, the closest, the comfort, and the cost, this is kind of weird. Um, I actually reached out to that guy that's much more of an expert than I am, and I asked him, I said, you know, what is typical for price? And he said like 100 bucks was pretty common. So I, I, I mean, that's at a really steep price. And some of these um, vintage collectors kind of get up there where you're like, well, is the shave as good as the price demands? Or is this an, you know, is it intrinsic or extrinsic as far as the value goes? And for me guys, it's both. This is very much, it has some extrinsic value with it being, you know, the historical, had some historical kind of experience. But at the same time, it's a really good shave and it's really close and it's really comfortable. And the handle for me is very nice. So it's kind of just a cool little thing that I wanted to update everyone on that it probably was not um, World War II, right? It was just probably carried, repurposed in a different, in a World War II helicopter, which makes sense to me. I, when he said that, I was like, yeah, it probably makes sense. And I don't think the person I bought it from really, you know, had any idea of perfectly where it came from, right? They pulled it out of the helicopter, but they didn't know where the helicopter had been out or when it was down. Oh, guys, perfect. I said I wanted to have a nice head shave for being out with family today. And I love the efficiency of this razor. It is an absolute monster when it comes to efficiency. 
And I like, you know, the head on it's a little bit big, guys. So when you're getting in like this, it's a little bit more difficult. But definitely possible. I do find it very similar to my Gem Damascan. Very similar to my Gem Damascan as far as the shave quality and the closeness I get. Oh, perfect. No compromises. No compromises with the Shake Sharp. That's why it was, you know, wanting to be used during the birthday week. And I just think it's such a cool piece of history that still produces a fantastic shave, guys, for me. For me. And yeah, it's hard to get your hands on and know they're not you know, readily available and they're definitely, definitely um, kind of kind of up there as far as how much effort are you willing to put in. I've seen two for sale in the entirety of stocking, you know, all the different outlets. So they're not going to be as easy to find, but man, look at this, guys. Look at the closeness of that. Thanks for being here for today. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you found this fun. I hope you enjoyed the TSA story, guys. I can't wait to get back on a plane and see the next person's face be like, what did you do? Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next video.